Texas, USA. The rowdy romantic, the bocephus bomber, the self-proclaimed king of karaoke, San Diego. President of the Rotong Federation. Toronto, myself, Roy. Hold it. What's up, Road Dog? P1 production expert and or sweet supernatural freak like me. I am Roy Golden, Dorado myself, coming straight at you from a bedroom boy's best studio. <laughs> oh yeah. How you doing today? We're gonna talk gear. Gear, gear, gear. Gear porn is my gear porn collection. Bah, 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 bah. Check this out. First, I started with the Shure SM7 Bravo. SM7 Bravo. Venerable. It's got nice proximity effect. There was just a level of quality that I noticed on some of the more intimate recordings. I just wasn't getting with this. So I started looking around. And for voiceovers, a lot of what I do is voiceover work. I read some great reviews of this manly mic. Also, unbeknownst to me, whenever I got this, there was something wrong with the output transformer. I submitted a support ticket to Manly, so I sent it back to him. When I got it back, I noticed they put a Manly iron output transformer on it. This microphone, now with an iron output transformer and an upgraded premium, I mean, valve tube from England. <laughs> I love them Englishes, I do. <laughs> it's something about them. I love the warm mid-range, tight bottom end, and then silky highs. It's a silky smooth high. And I was asked if there was one piece of gear that you could take with you on a desert island. My manly, I gotta have my manly. I'm a manly man for life, love manly. I learned very early in the game. It's not just about the microphone. Matching it up with an amazing preamp is half the battle as well. Thus and thus have I chosen ba, 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 ba. the Manly Core and the Warm Audio TB12 Tone Beast. However, these units have been dorado -ized. These are not your stock units. In the Manly Core, I have replaced the 12AX7 to an English valve tube. I got a Mullard tube valve for this and a Genelec tube valve in this. If you go online and do the research like I did, you'll find out that Mullard has a hi-fi premium audiophile valve tube, okay, with low microphonics and just, ooh, ooh, ghost-like detail. That's what I put in the Manly Core. It took that unit from really good to amazing, amazing. That's the difference that the valve tube made for me. Huge difference. That low noise characteristic, it adds up on all the tracks, especially since I'm processing all my tracks through this now. Helps considerably. <laughs> Let's talk about the Tone Beast TV 12. Boop, boop, boop. Once again, this is and again, again. Once again, this is not your standard stock off-the-shelf Tone Beast. In the X731 slot, I've got an actual API 2520 operational amplifier. In the X18 slot, I've got the John Hardy 990 Bravo which in my opinion is just so transparent, I like my components to color the signal. The API 2520 in this is just insanely thick. Insanely thick. It's insanely thick. Very, very girthy sound that we get from the tone beast with the API 2520 in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. All right, WA-76 limiting amplifier. Stay where I tell you to stay. What I found was I was using an 1176 plug-in on a large majority of my tracks, especially for my vocals. I thought it sounded really good. Just put the gear on it and then focus on the performance. And I should say, for the record, that all of my cables are Mogami, 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 Mogamis, Mogami, Mogamis. Highest quality. Mm, mm. It's real nice. What this allows me to do is record fantastic voiceovers and get a great vocal sound. Now, how is it going to get from this to the digital realm? Ba -ba 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 -ba. The Audient ID 22. Welcome to the heart of my studio, the Audient ID 22. 
Not only does it sound great, it's got phenomenal flexibility in routing. I love the ID software. I'm sending a digital out to give me some more channels and I can control what I'm hearing on the digital outputs as well. Are you kidding me? The flexibility is amazing. Plus, plus my favorite feature is it's got, oh yeah, it's got direct inserts that bypass any preamplification and go straight to a Texas Instruments converter, which I think it's a fantastic combination of components in a robust package with amazing software and routing flexibility. It lets me use my hi-fi analog gear to go straight into a fantastic analog to digital converter with no coloration at all. And it's built like a tank. I've taken it on the road. It just takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. It's an amazing design. I've been printing all of my tracks through the outboard analog gear now. Every single track, every single track, all the drums, bass guitar, electric guitars, organ, piano, fiddle, steel guitar, lappy steel. I end up with more that was buried in the track after I process it through this. The waveform is completely different. It's amazing what happens to the signal when I run it through this gear. Amazing. Amazing gear. Amazing manufacturers. A bedroom boy's best. I am Roy Golden, Dorado myself. Hopefully you've been entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear. Be the change you need to see and live the life you dared to dream. Why make me leave when you can make me live like me? Later, Road Dog.